Yo, what's going on y'all back with another reaction video today. We have CJ Stroud. Just watched Bryce Young. Pretty pretty solid. Um, pretty solid as far as tangibles go. Um, we're going to see uh, about CJ Stroud. I haven't seen neither one of their highlights really. Probably watched a game or two from each of them. Uh, but, you know, not consecutively and not enough to remember uh, to have a good impression. But uh, it says... Uh, on Walter Football back in uh, July of 2022, they said Stroud is a highly talented dual threat quarterback who can end up as a first round pick, perhaps at the top of round one. He won Ohio State's quarterback position in 21, following Justin Fields' departure to the NFL, completed 72% of his passes. That's, that's really good. Uh, 4,400 yards, 44 touchdowns, and six interceptions. He was a dominant passer, showing good accuracy and ability to push the ball vertically. In 22, so this was a uh, recent, this is uh, in January this year. In 22, Stroud completed 60% of his passes for 3,600 yards, 41 touchdowns, and six interceptions. Looks like he'll be a high first rounder and is a future franchise quarterback. He has serious passing talent with a strong arm and polished passing. Uh, the most important trait for any NFL quarterback is accuracy, which he has. He shows very good precision with his ball placement, leading his receivers to make receptions and hitting them on the run to produce big gains after the catch driver will drop passes in some tight windows and beat defense with and beat defenses with his ability to thread a needle while Stroud can stand to put more air underneath some passes he throws a very catchable ball for his wide in general i'm curious what the Texans gonna do you know uh, as far as these two these two quarterbacks mentally stroud is advanced and flashes some anticipatory throws he has some room for growth but the potential is there uh, he's very composed in the pocket, stands tall, does not get rattled by the rush. With defenders bearing down on him, he keeps his eyes downfield, will step into a hit and complete passes to his receiver. Has some function mobility, functional mobility, and can use his feet to buy time. Is not a statue in the pocket. Does not present a dangerous running threat. Uh, after escaping pressure, Straw keeps his eyes downfield to get rid of the ball while not showing any fear of getting hit. He's not inclined to run a lot in the NFL. He could help himself be a little more aggressive on third and manageable to pick up first downs with his feet when nothing is open. The biggest knock on Stroud is team sources. Is team sources is that <coughs> he does not use his feet enough to make plays when he has that ability. Stroud seems to want to just operate as a pocket passer. In his final game against Georgia, however, he made some impressive plays in terms of buying time with his feet and making throws off schedule. I mean, that's good and bad. Like, there's good and bad to that. So, mm. go ahead, check him out. Shout out to Sports Productions for the highlight video. That was a good pass. State that in big games, there's always a player that's going to rise up to the occasion. It was a Buka. And in this particular case, the big player rising to the occasion is that was Gordon good. Harrison Dropped Jr. the end stride. He already has a long touchdown catch. And C.J. Stroud drops that throw in the bucket. He's not going to the ground. The pass to a Buka for eight. Another throw by Stroud looking for a lot more than eight. He's got a and stride. Eight. Okay. Touchdown, Marvin Harrison. Got a solid beat ball. Legacy is awesome. CJ Stroud back to throw for the Buckeyes and down the middle, Ameka Abuka, and he. That was nice. Gone. Nice touch pass. At receiver on a touchdown last week. Got a couple of passes early in the game today. Stroud throwing this time. Mm. Good catch, too. But and it's a trifecta. That was pretty good placement. That was a very, very tight window to complete that pass. That stop. He's an outstanding. Defensive end, they just got him. There it is, post pattern, and it is caught. Inside the 15 to the 10, Cade Stover. Slow the game down so they can read and react. Plenty of time. CJ loads up again. Oh, and it's, it's caught. It's Harrison. It's touchdown. So far, a lot of tight window throws. They're going to say he stepped oh. up. He got him right over. Stroud using his legs keeps the play alive and it's going to be incomplete. That was nice. That ball was big. Are they saying touchdown? I mm. Touchdown, Abuka. An absolute short range missile. 
They're going to throw across the middle. It's a dart. Habuka dives for the end zone. Touchdown pass number five for Stroud. C.J. Stroud down the seam. Caught. Touchdown. Julian Fleming. I think he has some really good accuracy. Can't, can't, uh, say too much negative about that at all. Stroud lost to the pylon. Harrison's got it. Flag out. Touchdown signal. Guys need four. Stroud zips it wide open. A total bust. And Abuka's running free. Oh, the way for an Ohio State touchdown. Miscommunication that time was by the defense. 69 yard strike. Off the play action, Stroud wants a downfield shot. And he's got Fleming running free. And Julian Fleming battles to the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio State. Never wish you played offensive line. Or play calling and receiving court looks pretty nice, too. I, I love watching the pit because it, it, it makes everything go. Sheesh. And there's another throw, Ooh. Harrison. Great catch. Brantley beaten again. Pick route, something like that, and maybe even a slant up top. Strauss putting out, looking throws. That was nice. Caught touchdown, Marvin Patient. Harrison. The 31. Play fake. CJ Strauss winds up. Delivers. Oh, Harrison. What a grab. Like Low key watching the Marvin Harrison uh, Junior highlight video too. Incredible receivers. That's what it looks like. In the end zone. Good placement. Very good placement. Ameka Abuka. 13 yards. I thought Ohio State would play better today, but they're certainly playing better here in the second half. Stroud delivers deep down the field. It's good. Flip it. And a walk in touchdown, Buckeyes, 79 yards. Iowa defense. Stroud out of the shotgun. Trips to the top of your screen. Here, CJ Stroud winds up, delivers down the field. Caught and a first down, Marvin Harrison Jr. on Kalen King. Second and nine. CJ Stroud keeps again. Good block. CJ Stroud down the sideline. And out of bounds. We'll see where they mark him out. It's in the country. First down and 10 at the 42. Stroud winds up, goes deep, has a man caught. Marvin Harrison, Jr. touchdown. Marvelous Mar, 58 yards. Third down and seven at the 19-yard line. Stroud. Winds up again in the seam mm. and caught. Well done, Kate. Stover the tight end. White. I have a lot of ball placement. Second down and two. Here's CJ. Going in the tight windows. I give him a, a A, maybe an A plus. On that field, very aware of what just went down in the big house. Here's the Heisman front runner, CJ Stroud. Mm. It to Harrison Jr. He is so His receivers compliment him so well too because they just they make they make all the catches. Stroud back it up, throws to the far side. A tight coverage and they're making tough catches. Marvin Harrison Jr. Ohio State quickly into Michigan territory. Stroud winds up, throws a deep ball side. Touchdown! Marvin Harrison Jr. Marvelous. I go lie, if I'm the Texans. If I can get Stroud and Harrison in the first round, I'm taking both. Why not pair them back up? Oh, see. Good pass, but good job by 10. All right, good highlights. That was good, uh, good beat. Uh, I mean, if I had to choose, man, between him and, and Bryce, I think I'm taking him, you know, because it's not a huge gap in between their talent. And I think I just take the taller quarterback, you know. Uh, 
Nah, I, I, like I said, I don't think it's a really a huge gap. They both are talented, but uh, yeah. Y'all, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the like button for me. Subscribe. Stay tuned. Stay blessed.